Hi, so for today we're going to continue our discussion all about uh, 1001 Solve Integrals Part 18 and uh, we will be solving I think 5 problems here and let us start with uh, this problem wherein we are uh, we encountered here a secant and a tangent combination with powers. No? So the, the very first thing that we're going to do here if we have secant and tangent so we know that the uh, derivative of tangent is secant squared so maybe we can split off some values here okay uh, to extract secant squared so i have secant raised to 4 theta i have secant squared theta here and then tangent theta here okay so as much as possible i know that the derivative of tangent would be secant squared so i'll be rearranging this associatively so that I have tangent here and I have secant squared theta just beside the d theta because this will be my du, my future du. Okay. So right now, what we're going to do is we are going to, again, uh, make uh, this the integrand, the remaining integrand, as tangent also. Okay, so by doing secant squared theta squared tangent theta, then secant squared theta d theta. Okay, so I just uh, 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 raised it to 2 so that we can what uh, use the identity 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta okay, to replace this. So what will happen? I have 1 plus tangent squared theta but it's raised to so, but it's nice since I have already transformed the secant into tangent. Okay? So, that's the goal. So, that we'll be able to use the U substitution. So, expanding this, I'm going to expand that. That would be 1 plus 2 tangent squared theta. And then plus a tangent raised to 4 theta. And then I have multiplied by tangent of theta here. And then secant squared theta d theta. Okay? So distributing tangent, okay, here on our uh, parenthesis. So I have tangent of theta plus 2 tangent cube of theta plus tangent raised to 5 of theta and then secant squared theta d theta. Okay? So I'm going to let u as tangent theta and then derivative of u that's what i'm talking about it's a secant squared theta d theta of which we have already secant squared theta d theta on the right side of our integral so this this will be just a simple u substitution so we have u plus 2u cube okay raised to 3 because it's raised to 3 and then tangent of uh, raised to 5, tangent theta raised to 5, that would be u raised to 5. Okay, and then secant squared theta t theta is simply du. Okay, so that's that's our integral right now. So if you evaluate this by power rule, that would be u squared all over 2 plus 2u raised to 4 all over 4 plus u raised to 6 all over 6 plus c. And we know that this will cancel. This will become 1 and 2 so that we have u squared all over 2 plus we have u raised to 4 all over 2 plus u raised to 6 all over 6 plus c. And back substituting our uh, u, that is 1 half tangent of squared theta. Our u equals tangent. Okay. So, and then we have plus 1 half tangent raised to 4 theta tangent of theta raised to 4 plus 1 sixth of tangent theta raised to 6 plus c and this will be our final answer for our first problem okay so that will be our answer for this problem for problem 108 so let's proceed to problem 109 so we still have 900 uh, plus problems here to continue this project. 
to finish this project. So for problem 109, we'll be having integral of dx all over 16 plus x squared. Okay, so if you see this type of integral, it's not uh, sine, power of sine, power of cosine, but rather it's uh, integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions. So if you recall, okay, that if we have uh, integral of du all over a squared plus u squared, this is a recall, we will be having 1 all over a arctan of u all over a plus c, where a is constant, okay, and the u is any variable, okay. So in, in this case, if we're going to carefully look at the integral given here, it resembles the formula, okay. So in such a way that the this 16, that is our a squared, and this x squared is our u squared. So I have to rewrite this into something so that I can extract a and u. Okay, so because what I want here is the a and the u. Okay, we are given here a squared and u squared. So I have to extract a there. So I have 4 squared and I have x squared. We I simply rewrite the equation or the given integral. Right? So that this 4 becomes my a and this x becomes my u right so we have here direct substitution 1 all over a or 4 arctan of u all over a that is uh, we have x okay because our variable here is x or we are integrating with respect to x so our u it becomes x okay all over 4 Again, A plus C. So this will be our answer for this one. So the one-fourth arctan of X all over 4, okay, plus C. All right, so problem 110. Okay, so again, we carefully analyze the integral, okay? So we use the formula here for integrals in, in yielding inverse trigonometric function. So for 110, we have integral of dv all over, we have 9 plus 4v squared. Okay, so again, it's still plus. Okay, so if we rewrite this as dv all over 3 squared plus 2v squared, I've just rewritten, okay, the same integral Okay, but I have extracted now the value of A, which is 3, and U as 2V. Alright, so I can now plug it into the formula 1 all over A arctan of U all over A plus C. Again, what is our A here? Our A here is 3, our U here is 2V. Because if we square 2V, that's 4V squared. So, we have done nothing uh, or we didn't change the given integral. We just simplify it so that we can apply the given formula. So we have one third arctan of u, which is 2v, all over a, which is 3, plus c. And that will be our final answer for this given integral. It's pretty easy. Uh, in, in integrals yielding inverse trigonometric functions is somewhat easy. Okay? So if you, just, if you just know, if you are familiar with the formula. So problem 101, second to the last problem, we have dt all over the square root of 5 minus 16t squared. Okay. So this is still an inverse yielding uh, trigonometric function. Uh, it so happened that it is not tangent anymore, arctan, but it's, if we are going to recall, the integral of du all over square root of a squared minus u squared, it will yield to arc sine u all over a plus c. This is a formula. Okay? So, right now, it has a square root. It's different from the arctan. 
since it has a square root and it has a minus sign instead of plus, okay, compared to arctan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract again, okay, the values of a and u. So if this is square root of 5, I can have square root of 5 squared here. Why? Why did I put square root? Because if you square the square root of 5, it will result to 5. Okay? So that is inside the square root. So I have to include another square root there. Then I have minus 4t squared. So if I evaluate 4t squared, that is 16t squared. So by doing this, I have obtained this a, which is square root of 5, and the u, which is 4t. Okay? But in this type of problem, okay, we have to use u substitution in here. Alright? So, this is, this is, this must be dt. Okay? So, if I let u, because the, the problem is, the problem or the formula only accepts, accepts u. We have a constant here that is 4. Okay? So, we cannot just simply substitute arc sine u all over a plus c in here. Because we have a constant of 4. In here, we have a constant of 1. And here, we have 4. So, that's the difference. So, we have to have u substitution. So, if I let u as 4t and the du will be 4dt, I have dt here. So, I have du all over 4 equals dt. So, if I do that, substituting the u and du, so I have dt equals du all over 4. Okay? All over square root of the square root of 5 squared minus 40 is u squared. So notice how I change the 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 uh, variable from t to u so that I can use u substitution at the same time use this formula. Alright? So I have 1 fourth outside of the integral sign. That's du all over the square root of the square root of 5 squared minus u squared. So, as you can notice, I can now apply 1 fourth. That will be arc sine of u, which is a square root of 5. u all over a. Okay, ah, I mean, our u is not the square root of 5. Our u is simply that u, this u, all over a. u all over a, a is square root of 5 plus c but of course we have to go back to its original variable wherein it's letter t our u equals t so i have one fourth arc sine of u which is 4t all over square root of 5 plus c that's how we get the answer all right we just simply employed a u substitution in here in order for us to evaluate the function fully okay so another problem we have another problem 112 okay so problem for problem 112 i have x dx here all over 9 plus x squared okay this may be some uh, you may think that this is an arctan okay because of its uh what they call this because of the 9 plus x squared on the denominator but technically it's just simple u substitution so if we analyze if we let u 9 plus x squared get the du that's 0 plus 2x dx or simply du is 2x dx i already have x dx so i just have to isolate x dx here and i can now perform u substitution okay so if I perform u substitution x dx here, I have du all over 2, all over the u, which is u here, or 9 plus x squared. I can factor out 1 half, and du all over u will be 1 half ln of u plus c. And back substituting our value of u, that is 9 plus x squared plus c. 1 half ln, okay, of 9 plus x squared plus c. So it's just simply u substitution. Okay? And for our last number, I think we have 6. 
uh, uh, we have six uh, uh, examples here. So for our 113, I have x dx, 9 plus x raised to 4, so that I have, this is, this is a real arctan, okay? So because of the x raised to 4. So if I do this, I have x dx, I have 3 squared plus uh, x squared squared here. Okay, so that I will be having an x dx all over 3 squared plus x squared squared here. So, if I am going to let you here, okay, or not let you, but this will be our A, this will be our U, okay? That will be our... Uh, uh, indication that this is a, an arctan but the problem here is that we have x dx okay it's not just simply dx but x dx so what we are going to do here is to have again let u that's what i'm talking about as x squared and du as 2x dx okay and then isolate x dx so i have du all over to x dx so simply substituting our value so, x dx becomes a du all over 2, all over, okay, 3 squared plus u squared. So, take note that I let u as x squared. So, I have a 2 here. So, st I still have the u squared here. So, I have 1 half integral of du all over 3 squared plus u squared in here. So, that would be 1 half Okay, one half, and then applying the arctan formula. So the arctan would be one all over a, arctan u all over a plus c, because it's readily integrable. So I have now one half, and then our a is three. This is our a. So one all over three, then arctan of u. What is our u? That is x squared, based from our u substitution. Then I have 3 plus C. So the answer would be 1 all over 6 because 1 half times 1 third is 1 all over 6. Then I have arctan of x squared all over 3 plus C. So this will be our answer for this problem. And again, thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this video. Okay, if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, and for more math and engineering tutorials. Again, this is Injir Abad. See you again on the next video.